Hi everybody, in this lesson, chapter 33.5, we're introducing clauses of fearing. Uh, don't be afraid, they're actually not too bad, but th there's a, a little trick really dealing with this issue of negative polarity that we'll get to when we get to it. But let's start off by talking about the verb to fear. So it's I fear, if we're gonna look up the first principle part, we want the present tense first person. And that's going to be, you'll find this in a dictionary, phobet oh my. So what we're dealing with here is an epsilon contract verb. And note that here, and as often in the dictionary entries, you're going to see a non-contracted form, but we know that epsilon plus omicron in practice is going to result in a diphthong omicron upsilon. And in this case, since we've got a acute accent on the first part of that contraction, this is going to turn into a circumflex accent over the diphthong, fabumai. But this is all coming from an epsilon contract verb, fabetomai. So that's the verb, I fear. And you can fear a number of things in Greek, right? I am afraid, fabuomai, or just fabuomai, of horses, let's say. So tus, hippus. I'm afraid of horses, I'm afraid of the enemy, I'm afraid of anything you want, just in a direct object, in the accusative even, very straightforward. So if you wanna say I'm afraid of something, that's a, a noun, you're good to go. You can also do this just as we would in English with a complementary infinitive. So I am afraid um, to, um, let's see, I, I, we'll, we'll just see what we can do. I'm afraid to pursue the horses or maybe the enemy, let's do that. I'm afraid to pursue the enemy. Fabu mai, I am afraid to pursue, diokane, the enemy, tus polemius. So that's easy, we can do that. Uh, we just have an infinitive phrase, just as we do in English. I am afraid to do this thing. I'm afraid to pursue the enemy. So then we have, however, this idea of a fear clause. I'm afraid that. That is what we're getting to here. I'm afraid that. So we're, this is something akin, then, to an indirect statement. And we have those indirect statements uh, with haughty and hos. And that's sem somewhat similar to what we're going for here. It's also similar to verbs of helping that we've seen, or, or hoping rather, like el pizzo, where you would hope something, but a hope was always about the future, right? You weren't hoping about the present, you would be hoping for the future, and that took a future form of the verb after it. We're not gonna see that here, because the fear clauses could be, for, you know, I'm afraid that, that's a polite way to say, I'm sorry to admit that. Or, or we could be afraid of things that have happened in the past or afraid of things that will happen in the future. So we're, we, we need a clause, a fear clause, that's going to be very flexible. And we get that introduced by these two uh, conjunctions, may, which we tend to associate with no. But here, the idea is that I'm afraid of something, which is almost uh, similar to saying, I don't want it to happen. So this idea of this negative aspect of fear, right? Fear is a kind of negative emotion. We might say that what we are fearing has a negative relation to us. This phrase has what linguists will call a negative polarity. So to say no in Greek, you don't just say may because for a fear clause because you're afraid that something will happen. So that is actually may here. And if you wanna say that not in Greek, you're going to use may u. So this is a little, I mean, this is kind of paradoxical, right? We're getting may to not mean negative at all. It doesn't equal no, like it normally does. Uh, instead, it's just going to equal that in this context. May, I'm afraid, I was gonna write that beginning with a theta, that's hilarious. I was afraid that, and then that not is may u. So in practice, this will be easy to, to separate, but if you haven't seen a fear clause for a while, you see that may and all of a sudden you start thinking negativity. You th start thinking, I need to put a no in my English translation, but that's not true. You just need to put a that because no or that not or that no 
is taken care of by Mei Wu. Uh, let's see some examples um, of everything. So, for Bu Mai Ton Leonta, these are examples taken from Shelmerdine. This is exactly the sort of direct object we'd seen. So, I fear the lion, or I am afraid of the lion. Here, I am not afraid. No, that's just a ooh in front of a regular verb. Nothing, no fear clause here. I am not afraid to what? Pros balo. But no, given where this accent is, and that this is a one lambda, this is the aorist infinitive, the strong second aorist infinitive. So I am not afraid to attack simply once the city. And remember that prospalo takes a dative object. That's why we have te pole in the uh, dative. Now, let's get to this clause. Fabumai me prospalusi, or prospalusin, because it's the end of the sentence. So, I am afraid, or I fear, that they, and then let's look at this, prospalusi, third person plural, present tense, they are attacking. Pretty easy. I'm afraid that they are attacking. The thing that was tricky here is may. We want to think of that as negative normally, but here it's just translated as that. Next we get fobumai me uk elfen. So I am afraid that, again that's what we're doing with may, that he, she, it, let's have it be she, did not come. Because what is this? This is Elthon. And what's the uh, principal part? What's the first principal part of this verb? Erkomai. It's always a tricky one, Erkomai. So I'm afraid that she did not come or he did not come. That's Fobumai me uk Elthon. All right, so far so good because here this was a, a present fear. And this is also a present fear, but with a kind of past um, clause. Uh, really what we're talking about here, when I'm saying present, is the clause, the, the tense of the verb in the fearing clause. And no, these are both indicative. When we get to the future fears, let me write that out in a different color, future fears. So this isn't saying that I will be afraid. It's not that the fear itself is in the future, but it's a fear of future things. In these contexts, we can get into the primary, secondary sequence of moods that we're used to. Primary taking the, um, the subjunctive mood in the clause, and secondary, and that's going to be triggered by a past verb, uh, an imperfect, a pluperfect, or an aorist in the main clause, turning into an optative verb. So that's what we're going to be seeing here. So fabumai me elthe. So note what we've got here, a subjunctive ending with a lengthened vowel and no augment on the stem. So this is what we would expect. So I fear that she, and this is again a future fear, will not come. Perfect. And we know it's future because we're using the subjunctive. We're in this primary sequence. Now note that this is an aorist participle, or not participle, sorry, aorist principal part. It's an aorist subjunctive. That's just saying that it's simple in aspect. It's one time. So now let's go over to the secondary. If for main, so note the secondary ending here, I was afraid that... I was afraid that the enemy, hoi polemioi, the enemy, elthoian. So again, aorist, but now we've got an optative ending, third person plural to agree with polemioi, or polemioi in Greek. The enemy, I was afraid that the enemy in this case, because this is past time, um, or, or not, well, past time here, but a verb that's, this is again a future fear, I am, af I was afraid that the enemy would come. So would is our kind of sequence of tenses in English. We'll have will in the primary, would in the secondary, 
and that's reflected in the Greek by the subjunctive here for elfe and the optative there for elthoian. Uh, it's a little unclear because this is third person singular, that's third person plural, but we've basically got the idea. And now let's do the, the last section. Fabumai me u menai. I am afraid, I fear. Either of those translations is going to work depending on context. I am afraid that he, she, it. So let's again say she will not stay. So note again that the not here is from the ooh. The may has nothing to do with that. That's just part of the fearing clause. Versus, um, I was afraid that... Um, the general, because we have a nominative subject there, would not remain. So again, these are future fears or fear of future things relative, maybe I should emphasize that, relative to the time of the main verb. That's why we're getting our sequences, that's why we're getting subjunctive and optative. If it's a present fear, something that's at the same time as the verb, or a past fear, I am fearing that relatively in the past that she did not come. Here, we've actually got moving into the future, we've got to pay attention to these different moods. We're bringing in the subjunctive and the optative, and we're going to use each one dependent upon the sequence we're in. Good. So this is a lot to chew on. Let's, uh, let's take it apart a little further in some exercises. But First, to recap, clauses of fearing are really referring to that, clauses. The verb for fear, for beomai, which is an epsilon contract and will, will only appear in actual prose or poetry as fobumai in Attic, in the Attic dialect where that contraction happens. We can do a lot of things with fear. We can just give it an accusative direct object, I fear the horses, I'm afraid of the horses. We can do it with a complementary infinitive, again, just like English, I'm afraid to pursue, or I'm afraid of pursuing, we might say, the enemy. But then we also have this fear clause, which ex exhibits this negative polarity that uh, linguists get excited about. We're using may as our conjunction to express that, and may u is our negative. I think that should do us. I'll see you in the exercises. We're going to start off on exercise 143, uh, page 235, in the next video. See you then.